Hello and welcome, Neil Ash here from Tights TV. Hope you're all well. Another bounds of win, five on trot now. Uh, player ratings going to be coming up. Also, a bit of discussion about gamers in itself. But yeah, just a, a great, not a great game, but a, you know, it was one of them where it was a win of a performance. We kind of knew what we were going to get with Burton. No disrespect to Burton, but we have the Ireland League. Owners one on us at home. I uh, want to get on about that in a, in a bit. Just want to give a mention to Matty Wolf. Great to see him involved, not just first team affairs, but also starting. Great to see him back from injury. Uh, young Ackroyd as well on bench. Another welcome addition back to the club. Uh, I know he got some good re- re- reviews at Geisley as well. So great to be back at Barnsley. And who knows, going to play a, a key part in the season going forward. Just about the £30,000 fine that Barnsley got for the, you know, not you being aware of it like now in, in social media and that, what, what got said against Bristol Rovers. No need for it. It's like, took out at club. This day and age, you know, there's uh, stewards, there's things all over the place, monitoring and, and for stuff like that. But like I said, club's been it with £30,000. Took it into the coffers when trying to get money into club for certain things, i.e., players or wages to contribute to wages and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, it didn't tell. I want to get on about our atmosphere a bit as well. Um, I, what it me? Did it seem a bit subdued? We won 2 0, but I'll get on about that a bit later on if you want. We'll go through player ratings like now, but although we won 2 0. It was, I don't know whether it was weather, summer, I don't know, just sent to a weird atmosphere. Uh, is it that people, a lot of people, are vocal over oh, well, yeah, last season, but decided not to renew this season? The things what we could do as a club or as a fan base to make things better, could we put some uh, home fans over to a way end? You know, Burton brought 172, 174, I think it was. So again, it's like playing into a weird kind of a way. And so, could we get something like that where it's split up? I did send a, a emails off to the club about stuff. I also approached Julian uh, at club about certain ideas what could improve atmosphere. Uh, still wait for feedback on stuff like that. If I was going to come to fruition, but. Some ideas that have been ideal yesterday is in regards to drinks and stuff. I don't think it's going to be happening anytime soon. I'm not expecting it to be done overnight, but it was a month or two ago and still, still not back. But we'll see how that goes. So we'll get through to play rating and then we'll get back to atmosphere at all. Well, so yeah, I guess Bert and Albion. Going to be Brad calling the goal again. To be fair, didn't really look troubled. Burton didn't offer much. Is he noted a goal for it? Apart from odd few chances, a bit of a long ball here, and but again, look confident to what he had to do. So Brad's going to get a seven, seven and a half. Williams again, another another great game uh, linked up well, driving forward. I think him and Nicky Cadden complement one another well going down wings. Always a threat. I think the positional awareness has got a lot better. Like I say, another clean sheet. So it's something to be, some of what's been worked on a lot. And full credit to that goes to Michael Duff and his backroom staff for working on and identifying certain areas. Captain Mads, 8.5. Still a performance for me. Again, he handled it well, comfortable captain performance. Um, Adebayo took a dive early on in the first half, and you know, in penalty box on a claim for a penalty, and Mads Muller said Adebayo in his pocket for the rest of the game. To be fair, very comfortable. 
I don't know, you still got to be switched on, aren't you? Even slight slaps, you, you know, if you can come back and bite you. But for me, Mads were up there. A monster man, man at match performances for me, one, one of them. Grundy coming in for injured Tom Edwards. And again, I thought I stuck to his task pretty well, trying to keep his shape and line. Not over exaggerated, but again, kind of did what it says on tin kind of thing, you know. It, 7.5, a, a clean sheet, wasn't it? So coming into a, a back a back three as it is, the, what's been going on this run, takes some at art, and we're going a bit further in, up in midfield as well, is that it's, it's good to see that players can come in and adapt and slot in there, and the run still carries on. William Kitchen, again, did what he had to do, trying to bring the ball forward. No yellow card from him in this game as well. Not a rarity, but we kind of know what we're going to get with Liam. Um, he's going to be up there, roll his sleeves up and get stuck into the task. As is all of us, but Liam, you always know he's going to be, get that bit, uh, bit more extra, bit more bite from him. But I don't think game really warranted it. Uh, if I'm being honest, I don't think he was really troubled in that, that position. So for me, 7.6 for Liam Kitchen. And like I was saying, we Robbie will... Uh, Williams, Jordan Williams, Nicky Cadham, 8.3, work rate, trying to get in areas for uh, options and assist. Um, again, build up play and stuff like that. You can't you can't fault him. He had, went through a bit of a, a quite dodgy period didn't he, early on, but I think now we're coming to see the, the threat breaking off him when he were at Forest Green, uh, what brave viewers were about him for assist and stuff. And long mate continue, and I think that's the... The most back defensive unit, your wing backs and your your back three, but it's like more or less apart from Edwards, are starting to understand one another's game as well. So again, credit's got to go to uh, Duff on highlighting and uh, Patterson and Devaney. Luke Connell, uh, seven point nine, looking to link up as he always does, wanting ball. Yeah, uh, had a few. Fouls done on him. Look comfortable in midfield. Having a solid game and showed that bit of great. I mean, we know what we're going to get with Luke. I don't mean he's going to get stuck into a challenge. He's going to going to be up and be in it. Um, dare I say, a bit of a Jack Russell type player with his wanting ball, getting stuck in, always showing football. Wanting, you know, is is always seems comfortable and want you know wanting to dictate and command. Um, so for me, yeah, Luke Connell, some point now. Ebby Kane, running and pressing well, linking up well and trying to up and play where I saw with Ebby. Trying, I know he got a rocket up his backside from Duff in second half. I don't know what that were about, but you could tell Duff on, on sidelines that we were our sat anyway. Proper giving him a bit of a rocket and it seemed to like spare him on a bit. Um, whether it would have summoned what Duff had seen. I know a lot of players have been carrying like injuries or bugs or cold and that, whether it was just, you know, it was just starting to fade away, drop down his, his intensity, I don't know. But again, Duff highlighted that and made relevant substitutions in the fruit game. Matty Wolf gets to see him back, get to see him back from injury. He looked to threat and looked comfortable uh, for for his game back after his injury. Been a, a bit of a decent long layoff for him, but straight into first team affairs. Like I said, we've got injuries to Phillips, Benson wants on bench, you know, Edwards. So there's been a few players, Teddy is still out. So for Matty Wolf to come back in, played what he did, what minutes ago under the belt, he came off at second half, but 7.8 for Matty Wolf. I thought he had a, a good a good solid game. I thought, you know, I thought it looked pretty decent, to be fair. Vante Cole, 8.6. My man at match, just sharing it from Mads, uh, a few, um, like Nicky Cadden, there's a, there's a few contentions in this one. Again, trying to hold it up when he when he wanted to, to try and bring others in, running into channels, uh, Norwood, making runs for him to create chances for him to get his two goals. Um, they look simple tappings, but the warrant, if you know what I mean. Um, it would be in the right area at the right time, and he, he took it well. So, although it looked it looked easy 
thing to score a goal like that. Again, you've got to make the effort and the run to get into that position, if you know what I mean. And I think that's something else that's been worked on, whereas probably two months ago, I think when Karen Ball got been coming in, there wouldn't have been any player in that area, if you, if you know what I mean. So there would have been chances begging, uh, but he's been there, right time, and you don't always have to score, score a, a world from outside the box, or oh, it's nice when it does happen, but when you get in a position like that, you, you reap uh, you reap your reward and you, you come away and obviously two goals for that lad. So, uh, again, another... And he was trying to get crowd up and all. This is what I'm on about with atmosphere. You know, when he scored his second goal, he's trying to G crowd up. I'm like, weird, weird. No, at some point for uh, closing down, well, you know what you're going to get with Nords. Um, working defence and never gave up. So, yeah, you, you know, my man at match for... I think Cole edged it just with his two goals, but when you look at Nicky Cadden, you look at uh, Mads Anderson, y'all guys might agree, disagree, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, y'all uh, man at match. But there are a few players yet again, which were pleasing to see, that was in the man at match performance, if you know what I mean, rather than struggling to get one, there's a, there's a few, op few options there for that. So, yeah, great uh, just to see what I saw uh, a lady with me at the quality streets for stewards inviting Ponty end. Uh, bless her. She was going up and down again. Stewards quality streets for Christmas and that. Uh, half time as well. Uh, well done to the lad who got the half season ticket pass. It's in uh, bar, post and post. Uh, Jason, Jason Fairwell, he was I think, panicking a bit because it wouldn't come out of his pocket. Uh, but it was great to see. Great by club as well. Uh, for Jesse's stuff like that, DJ as well, another good touch. I thought, um, I thought the music it was somewhat different, it's not, I hope we see more of just trying to get the atmosphere. But yeah, I mean, let me know your thoughts about atmosphere at, at, at club at all. Well, at home, I've been to away games and it seems to be more vocal. And again, my thoughts might be, it might be that a lot of vocal element to uh, fans from last season not really knew this that might be part of part of the problem uh, I know there's by figures have gone down a bit for sales is that one of the reasons it's it's a weird one uh, it's a weird one and you want I want well we all do we want all to be a fortress and again I'll open it out to people who are watching let me know your thoughts. What what could we do? What could we? What what could happen? What how can we create oh, well to be that buzzing atmosphere when we turn out up or we're getting behind lads and be pushing for something? It's gonna be an interesting one. It's gonna be an interesting one. This. I mean, we're going into second half of the season now. In a good spot, you know. We're fourth still. Two games to in hand. Still knocking on door uh, automatic, and again not getting carried away. But just stating the, you know, the points and the obviously where we could go. But again, add that bit of quality in January. Keep this quality in January. That's the main thing. But the intention by a club, what can we do as fans? I think it's like a, a collective between us all, what we can do to get Oakwell bouncing again. Get Oakwell bouncing again. And it's not going to be another night thing, I, I understand that. But at least let's have some ideas. And one of them for me, could we have some own fans over it in the way end? Especially in a game like Burton, when, you know, you've got all your your, your partitions up there. Surely we could have a, a bit of an, an home, home section in there, make it a bit more of a, an invite for, you know, us as, us as fans, make it ours, make it our own. Thanks for watching as always. Please like, subscribe and share. Let me know your man at match. Let me know your thoughts about atmosphere at Oakwell and what we can do going forward. Have a good rest of your weekend. Even better since Barnes have uh, won a clean sheet. One thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>